There was a professor at Virginia by the name of Liviu Labrescu, and he was a Romanian-born professor of engineering. Um, he was born in the 1930s, and he was Jewish. And his family was swept up into the Holocaust as Jews, and he served time in a concentration camp as a very young child. While most of his family was killed, he was liberated at the end of World War II, and he'd gone through the Holocaust, and he had survived. The Soviet Union moved in and essentially took over Romania, and it became very, very difficult to be a Jew, and it also became very, very difficult if you didn't want to join the Communist Party. day in question he was teaching in the uh, in the classroom building a teaching an engineering class and when the shots started to ring out he uh, told his students to try to jump out the window and he went and he blocked the door so that they could try to get out of a second floor window which all but one of them did some of them were injured in the fall but they at least were able to get out of the door as he stood in front of the door Sung Wee Cho repeatedly shot through the door killing um, live, you, live you, live rescue, but not before he could save the lives of virtually everybody in his class. The reason this story is so poignant is really twofold. First, the day of the shooting was a, a really powerful day to Jews around the world, and especially in Israel. That day happened to be Yom HaShoah, which is the day of the year that is the day set aside to commemorate the victims of the Holocaust. I doubt um, Livio Labrescu's students would have known that, but he definitely knew it. That's a day that if you're a Jew, especially if you're a Jewish Holocaust survivor, you know what Yom HaShoah is. And he knew. He knew what that day was. He knew what the Holocaust was about. And remember, the Holocaust was not just about uh, perpetrators of the Holocaust, and it wasn't even just about the victims. The Holocaust was tremendously, tremendously about the bystanders, about people who knew what was happening and didn't do anything about it. And I have a feeling the fact that it was Yamasho was probably one of the reasons that Liviu Labrescu was so brave that day and decided to <sighs> block the door to save his lives of his students. And I just am really struck by that, that Congress and so many of in our country have just become bystanders. Liviu Labrescu wasn't a bystander. Just think about it though, you would survive the Holocaust as a child, as a Jewish child in Romania. Then you would survive the Soviet Union taking over your country and freezing you out of your professional life. Liviu Labrescu could survive all of that, but he couldn't survive the carnage of gun violence in the United States of America. I don't think we can be proud of the fact that we're bystanders and we shouldn't be. feelings into words and don't have anything else to say.